In this video, I wanna talk specifically about what I learned about fishing nothing but an eight inch mega bass mag draft for an entire day. I spent seven and a half hours and I threw this bait the entire time. And I have honestly been a little bit intimidated to fish this bait. You know, for me living up in Ohio, it's a little bit of a bigger bait for a lot of our fish. I mean, if you live in Texas, California, this bait may seem small to you, but for me, you know, throwing a bait like the six inch mag draft, this has been one of my favorite baits. It gets a lot of bites. I catch a lot of fish on it, but I've been a little bit intimidated to throw the one that's a little bit bigger for a while. And I finally spent the day doing it. I just feel like I learned a lot about this bait and I want to share those things with you. Now, before I talk about those guys, on May the 4th, we are having a demo day up at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. So whether you live in the general region or you want to come from afar, we're going to be having this event demo day. There's going to be food there. We're gonna, I'm going to be there. We're going to be talk fishing. You can meet me. We can also go on a test drive. If you want to go out on an icon boat, you want to go out on a bass cat boat, maybe you don't even care about bass boats. You just want to come up there and hang out all we're asking is that you RSVP for the event. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. RSVP so we know how much food to get for the event and just how, what to expect for everything. So guys, I can't wait for that day and I can't wait to meet some of you. It's coming up. It's right around the corner. All right, let's talk about the mag draft. Let's talk about this eight inch bait. Now, if you look at the differences in the six inch bait and the eight inch bait, you know, if you looked at it on paper, you think, oh, it's only two inches. But honestly, the, the eight inch bait is probably twice the amount of plastic that the six inch bait is. Actually, I should have measured it on my little scale and I didn't, but it's gotta be somewhere close to twice as big of a bait. It's just a very big bodied bait. Now there's three big things that I really learned about this bait that I wanna share with you. And the first one is, do not be afraid to throw this thing on highly pressured bodies of water with little fish, okay? Again, I live in Ohio, as a lot of you may know. We have a lot of highly pressured bodies of water. And if you pick up this bait, like, you know, there's a lot of times where I'm fishing for 12 and 13 and 14 and 15 inch bass. I mean, not big fish for the most part. But even with that being said, when I spent the day with this bait just a few days ago, I was fishing one of the harbors on Lake Erie East Harbor, for those of you that are familiar with it. And these harbors don't have a lot of like giant bass in them. It's not like you're going out there and you're catching six pounders, seven pounders. I mean, if you catch a five pounder, like that's a really big one. I mean, you can have a 20 pound bag in those harbors, absolutely. But catching a lot of giant fish does not happen. What you are typically dealing with though, is a lot of pound and a half to two and a half pounders. That's probably the average size fish. So when I went up, the, the nice thing about the harbors though, is there's a lot of fish up there. And that's exactly what I wanted to do when I was testing this bait is just take it to a lake that I know has a big population of fish and just see what happens. And the big thing that I learned is that one, the harbors are very pressured. And again, I'm not dealing with a lot of fish. I got a lot of bites on this particular bait. I probably had somewhere in the neighborhood of 16 to 18 bites on this bait. I think I ended up landing 10 of the fish. A couple of them I missed by my mistake. Um, but anyways, this bait will still get bit by a lot of fish. And like I said, it may be a little intimidating to you. I know it was intimidating to me, but I have so much more confidence in this bait to just go throw it anywhere that I go because I caught fish from a pound and a quarter on this bait all the way up to about three and a half pounds, I think was the biggest one that I caught that day. And which, by the way, I did a full video on that day and I'm gonna leave it linked at the end of this video if, you're gonna, if you guys wanna watch it. Now, let's talk about the other big difference in these particular baits. Like I said just a minute ago, the six inch is quite a bit smaller than the eight inch. The six inch, I have always thrown on a seven foot three medium heavy rod um, with a fast action and usually 15 or 16 pound fluorocarbon. I really like to kind of be in that neighborhood because I think the little bit lighter fluorocarbon helps to give that head a little bit more wiggle. I remember when Zaldane was repping this bait, he always talked about throwing it on 15 pound and I have, I have thrown it on 15 and 20 and you can definitely tell the difference in the way that the bait moves. Stepping down in your line size, there's just not as much drag in the water and it allows that bait to just move a little bit more 
more freely. Now, with that being said, you do not want to throw the big boy, the eight inch on um, 15 pound line or 16 pound line. I would not recommend that. Again, it's just a bigger bait and not to mention that rod. I would suggest throwing it on a little bit bigger rod. This rod here is a seven foot, six inch heavy power rod, uh, fast action. It's a, it's a fast action, but it's a little bit more of a moderate fast, if I'm being 100% honest, in the bend of the rod. And this is a really good rod with this particular bait. Every fish that I hooked, I landed with this rod. I'm also using 20 pound fluorocarbon. So when it comes to stepping up in the baits, I definitely suggest stepping up in your gear because this rod and this line is just gonna be way underpowered for this particular bait. And the crazy thing to me is that I know that some of you guys are watching this and you probably throw the 10 inch mag draft, which is a, just a monster of a bait a lot and probably catch a lot of fish on them. It's just not something that I do a whole lot where I live. So anyways, make sure you have the right equipment, not only to be able to fish this bait, but to be able to land more fish on it. And that's really, really important. Now, the next thing that I, that I kind of learned about this bait is that to me, it, it, it didn't have, and it may just be this one specific bait. So I don't want to completely like dog on it, but this particular bait had kind of a narrower window as to when it would really work as far as speed goes. If I, if I fished it a little bit too slow, it, it didn't seem to really like that. If I fished it a little bit too fast, it definitely rolled over on its side. And, you know, with every single bait out there on the market, if you guys saw my, you know, swim bait test that I did, every one of them is going to roll on its side, typically at a certain speed. Now, what that speed is varies a lot depending on what swim bait you are using. And it just seemed like this particular bait had a lot um, narrower window where it would work well. Now, with that being said, I was fishing it in pretty shallow water and this particular bait wanted to kind of get down deeper. Me at my normal pace, this bait would want to kind of go about five or six foot below the surface of the water. I, I, like I said, my normal kind of medium slow pace. With this particular mag draft, the six inch, it tends to ride a lot higher in the water column, probably only about three, two to three foot below the surface. So that's another thing to keep in consideration because if you're fishing it really shallow, what I learned is I kind of had to keep my rod tip high. I had to keep my rod tip high to give that bait some lift, but then I had to reel it slow so that it wouldn't blow out, if that makes sense. So just be, uh, just think about that when you're out there on the water. If you're hitting the bottom, especially with the harness rigged, the treble hooked harness rig, like, you know, luckily I was fishing around grass so I could just pop it around the grass, but I did get hung in some rock and some wood with this bait just because it was getting down deeper than I had expected. So guys, big bit, long story short with the, the eight inch, do not be afraid to throw this thing. I know that I've been intimidated by it and I'm just glad I, I, I put it out there and I just went fishing with it. Now, if you guys wanna watch that video um, where I fished it all day, I'm gonna leave it linked right here. It's over on my other channel, Bass Fishing. HQ. I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. I had a lot of fun and you can kind of see me learning everything about that bait. Also, don't forget to RSVP for the demo day event. I will see you guys tomorrow.